Another goalie hurt. Sands lose again. Let's get talking about this starting right now. <clears throat> All right, so start off with the game. Um, I also going to have a Jeff update today. So uh, Mr. Jeff Daly, good friend of mine, he's going to update us on what's going down in the minors and the me, me, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. So he knows a lot more than I do. Uh, so he'll be on in a minute. But first, I want to talk. I want to get through. I'm going to get through the first two periods. Then Jeff's going to talk, and then I'll finish off with the third period. So uh, let's get this started. So first of all, they they start off bad, like just very identical to do to the last game against Vancouver. Um, they start off bad. Uh, first goal, no chance by for Decord. Um, not the greatest defensive play. You know what? I'm not even going to say anything. Whatever. They got scored on. Let's just leave it at that. Um, second goal, yeah, I can kind of see Shabbat was kind of tripped. He kind of fell pretty easily too, so could have been a penalty, could not. Either way, it ends up in the back of the net again. Um, but then after that, Ottawa seemed to wake up a little bit, and they played. They, they start playing much better. So um, that definitely happened. The one thing that I, I think all our sense fans are, under, are wondering is, can you not discipline a player if he's considered a veteran player? Gabranskin, Gabranson, sorry, was god awful, especially in the first period. Some of those plays, and I'm going to show you one that's just. Mind-boggling. I don't... What was he doing there? What was he... Like, what? Is he drunk or something? I don't know what's going on here. So, anyways, that's... I don't get it. I don't understand it. The guy should have been... I, I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of rule where you're not allowed to discipline a guy or bench him if he's a veteran. I don't know. But uh, that was... I'd rather have Wolan in there. I, anybody. Riley. Anybody. I, wow. I mean, what is going on there? Anyways, what can you do? Um, it's not like we're trying for a playoff spot anyways anyways another thing is and people are going to hate me for this i really i don't think i think there's something going on with shabbat and nobody's addressing it they're just letting him play unbelievable amount of minutes a game and i think it's hurting the team not only is he making bad plays he makes good plays and bad plays let me, let me get that straight but i think he plays too much he, they need to drop his ice time down. We're not he, we're not getting anywhere this year. Why why also why risk hurting him? Get his ice. There's no reason he should be playing that many minutes. It makes no sense to me. We're not trying to for a playoff spot. We're we're trying to get better next year. That's what our goal is right now. And they keep playing him like we're oh we're fighting for that last playoff spot. We're not even close. We're so far away from that playoff spot. It's not even funny. We're not gonna. It's not gonna happen. So why? Why play him so much? I don't understand that. Let you know. Give. I mean, other than Cabranson, maybe because I mean, we just want to try to win. But let's just do something. Do something. Let the kids play more. Uh, let Riley play more. To be honest, I know everybody hates Riley. I actually don't mind him. I don't think he's that bad. Yeah, he makes some plays once in a while, but. I think the good is more than the bad for him. Play him a bit more. Uh, play Zub more. Zub's been amazing. I'm sorry, but he's been our... He's been... Zub's has been our best defenseman this year. I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody tells me. He's been extremely well poised. And he always, almost always makes the right play with the puck. And he does play quite a bit, I know. But he needs a little... Maybe up his minutes a bit more. Drop Shabbat's down a bit more. No reason to do... No reason why you would, wouldn't do that. So we're down two nothing at the end of the first. Second uh, second period comes along. Dezingo, boom, gets one pretty close. Sends press really hard. Dezingo gets a rebound, and uh, you know we're two to we're already two to one. Um, and another thing I think I'm gonna say, I know he I didn't see him too much in the third, but in the second, Bishop is looking amazing. He made one play, and I don't I don't know if I can find it, but um, just hard work, hard work, skating hard. He wants the puck. He wants to win. He, he's up. That's the kind of guy that we need. That guy that just get, and he does some nice plays. And he was he was the one that caused that the Zingle goal. So give him some more ice time. Drop the other guys that aren't doing anything down. I don't I don't get I don't really I I don't I, you should play for your minutes is what I the way I would I, 
I've never been a coach. I'm not going to start thinking I'm some coach. But the way I look at the game, I've played on a lot of hockey teams. We you usually play the guys that are doing the best. Sometimes maybe guys are, are good and they're just having a bad game or two. That's different. But um, he's had, what, two, two, three games now? And he's been... He's been working really hard, making good plays each game. Give him more minutes. You know, reward him for his play. That's just my take on it. But anyways, um, I mean, other than the Dezingle goal, the second period, not a whole lot happened. A lot, a little bit of back and forth. Um, I mean, honestly, not a whole lot after the Dezingle goal, to be honest. Not much happened anyways. Um, yeah, and then, uh, so yeah, that basically gets us to 2-1 to one after the second period, and now I'm going to stop, and we're going to bring Jeff in. Jeff, take it away. Hey man, thanks for having me. So in this new installment of uh, Sens Prospects, uh, we have to talk about North Dakota Fighting Hawks. They just won the NCHC uh, championship, and so they're really looking good i mean to win that championship now they're going to go up against another 16 teams in the ncaa and if they're good enough they can get right to the final four which is the frozen four um so we'll see there um, i know that bernard docker played in the semis or was it the quarters and was concussed of some sort so he was left out but in the in the championship game um Sanderson played excellent. Like that's all I'm hearing is that he he was lights out real good, and uh, Pinto ends up having about I think 15 goals, 15 assists. So they're calculating all the points. So he's got 30 points. Uh, he's also up for the Hobie Baker Award, and was and did win the um, Player of the Year for that division. So they're looking good. The guys that we have playing for that development. Um, you know, college, they're, you know, going to be the next best thing. And and if they do lose, um, unfortunately, if that happens, they'll be probably brought up to the Ottawa Senators. That's what I'm hearing as well, is that they could get a chance to play a couple of games. Um, from there, I guess we've got some notes on uh, Belleville, uh, an ex uh 67 player who's a goaltender Cedric DeAndre signed uh, kind of an amateur uh, tryout and he ended up starting a game for Belleville they're not doing all that good though they're only about two six and one uh it's not looking that great Cole Reinhardt though that they uh drafted in the sixth round this year seems to actually be producing a little bit and so he's got three points on the year. And Lassie Thompson, who was drafted the year before as our first rounder from Finland, has four assists. And so he's doing pretty darn good, too. And I guess from there, you know, there's not a whole lot more to talk about. But, you know, we've got some good stuff going on in the NHL with Decord playing great. And uh, I know I have some updates on some of the top rookies in the NHL for the Calder and Stutzla's in there, right? And so the top three with Kaprizov in Minnesota having 25 points leading the way. Stutzla's got 18 and Norris has got 16 points. And we'll see what happens tonight against Vancouver. But uh, it's looking good for the Sens and all our prospects. That's it for today. Go Sens, go. All right, welcome back to that. Thank you so much, Jeff, for that info. Um, yeah, I always like learning about that to figure out who's coming up. Definitely some guys to look out for. So, uh, anyways, now we get to the third. Uh, and I think, as everybody knows, unfortunately, Decord got hurt. He goes down. It didn't seem like much of a play. Like he must have rolled his, maybe he rolled his knee or ankle. I'm not sure. Um, he still ended up saving the, the, the puck, though, which was pretty impressive, to be honest, because he was down before... The puck even got to the point. He was just laying on the ground. So, not a... That sucks, because the cord's been good. I like the guy. He's got a great personality. Um, wants to win. He's happy to be there. Um, it just really kind of sucks. Good for Gustafson, though. He gets his, finally gets a chance to actually play. And um, he ends up being very good. He ends up getting him to the overtime. Um, but, let's talk about first. Norse's nice little snap. 
Um, <clears throat> nice little snap shot to make it 2-2. Uh, that happened about roughly way f uh, halfway through the first period. Set Man, I can't talk. Rip. Halfway through the third period, Norris ties it. Not a whole lot after a lot of not more a lot of more back and forth. Um, Sens got very lucky with about a minute, a little over a minute left. Very lucky that they didn't call the um, delay of game call because um, Shabbat shot it over the net. I guess there was somebody that kind of tipped his stick. It, yeah, it was a gray area for sure. Um, but what can you do? Sens got lucky with that one, I'll admit. Um, you know, but you know what? What's weird is that we're two-two tied. I find Vancouver played better this game than last game, and we're still two-two. So it's kind of strange how this happened. I find Vancouver actually had a better game than they did last game, and they ended up uh, still tying it. So, I mean, good on both teams. To be honest, both teams played pretty good this game. Um, I don't think any any one team kind of overpowered the other team for that much that length of a time. So. Um, good game, and man, that Demko guy, man. The Vancouver fans should be happy about this goalie. This guy is an absolute wall. He's made some great saves, great goalie. From what I can see, anyways. I don't know, maybe he's bad in other games, but against us, this guy is an absolute wall. So, you know what? Good luck. Uh, good on you, uh, Vancouver fans. You've got a very good goalie there, from what I can see. Um, anyways get to the third obviously 2-2 two, two. get to overtime a couple of good chances I think Kachuk had a bit of a breakaway um, nothing happens obviously shootout Sands losing a shootout uh, I, I would have argued why to put the zingle there but then I think you know what he had a good game DJ was probably thinking kind of a, on a hunch put him out there in the third shot but um, what are you going to do? You don't really know, right? He had a hunch, I'm sure, and he just put him out there. I would have rather, like, Kachuk, or honestly, Nick Paul had an amazing game, like I always say. I'm not going to talk about him again, because I talk about him almost every episode. I love the guy. I think he's one of the better players on our team, and has been for a while, but um, yeah, Sens lose 3-2 to two in a shootout. Um, again, you know what? I don't mind these kind of losses. I don't care that they lost 3-2. to two. They worked hard. They played very hard. And they gave it everything they got. They did. They really, this game, they had a great game overall. Some players didn't, <laughs> but other players did. So um, I think I think that one thing that we need to do is um, just continue this kind of effort, right? And uh, as Jeff mentioned before, we've got a ton of talent coming up. Just a ton. So a lot of these players are going to have to fight for their spite spots on the team. And... It's it's just gonna make that competitiveness, and that you have to be you have to score goals, you have to do this. Yeah, so I'm I'm really liking where we're going. I don't know how soon we'll see a lot of these guys. I know Jeff did mention maybe a few of them at the end of the year, possibly see a little glimpse of them. So that'd be nice. But most likely we're seeing more of them next year, possibly. Uh, but let's hope because oh man, I'm telling you right now, I know I get frustrated, but I know that things are only gonna go up after this year. So um, yeah. So, hope you liked the video, guys, and uh, please subscribe, like, and don't forget, uh, Friday, I'm going to be giving this away, so if you subscribe, you'll have a chance to win. All right, and I'll be announcing that on Friday on my Twitter and my Instagram. I'm probably going to do a random video on Saturday or Sunday, uh, just talking about other things, possibly sends, of course. Uh, but yeah, thank you, and uh, sends to the end.